Hi guys, uh, this is my third video tutorial on application.cfc and uh, application.cfm. So I have put uh, these two files application.cfc and application.cfm in the uh, same directory or in same folder under my project magic. So let's see what is happening here. So for this I need to check the website like uh, this one. Okay. So it is going to the application.cfc. I have put the name of the application.cfc as cfc application. Okay. So what actually happens in a cold fusion application for every request? Okay. This uh, two files are searched. If .cf application.cfc file is not uh, found, then it will look for application.cfm file okay so let's see what is happening here okay my project is uh, in that uh, place like uh, under e drive workspace so if i put the application.cfc uh, here only then what will happen okay this is the place of my project so I am uh, this is component I am placing this application.cfc here only ok uh, let's see just ok workspace here only so if I refresh my project this application.cfc has gone okay so now there is only application.cfm so what will happen okay the application will search for two things application.cfm and application.cfc but here is only application.cfm okay so this application dot cfm is accessed so the thing is that uh, uh, in cold fusion 7 and the advanced version like cold fusion 8 and 9 or 10 application dot cfc has the high higher priority so if i again put this application dot cfm okay uh, there only then what will happen like a uh, uh, magic right? application.cfm and placing it in the upper directory okay so what will happen here like if I repress okay so let's see what is happening here only like um, so. okay so application of cfc has been accessed so if you are using uh, coefficient 7 or advanced version of coefficient 7 like 8 or 9 so it is best to use application of cfc so what are the tracks and what are the things uh, there in application.cfc I am not show you and for this I again need to put the application.cfm file ok just a moment there are two files same name you have to identify which one is file ok this one only so go to magic folder again paste it ok so refresh the project again then you will get that application.cfm file refresh ok right so this is the application.cfm file I have given uh, the name of the application is cfm application session management I have put session management attribute as yes if you put session management as yes then your session will be working okay and i have i have also set set 
uh, client cookies and application timeout and session timeout session timeout that is if you do not do anything with the application uh, uh, for a particular time then your after that time the session will time out okay I have used a function here create time span uh, here uh, the format is like that this is day and uh, this is hour this is minute and uh, this is second and uh, another thing is that the cf error tag okay cf error tag is used to handle the uh, errors in your application other than that you can also use uh, cf try and uh, cf catch to handle uh, errors in the applications specifically and i have used also cf log to log the session what i have checked here is that uh, if the page hits uh, key is defined in the session structure okay if not defined then you will uh, put the pages as one otherwise you have to increment the pages by one and I have used also CF include here I am including a template the name of the template is uh, include dot CFM so what I did suppose you are trying to include a particular thing in the whole application uh, like the date okay the name of the user so what I have done here like I have included that file here include.cfm and I have uh, written a function like date format and now now we will show the current uh, date and time and date format it will just uh, produce the date and I have uh, used the mask here like it will uh, show the format of the date like date m m m n y y y and uh, date format I have again used the date format and this is for concatenation and uh, uh, I have used the now function here for getting the date and time and I am also getting the suggestion here that is uh, now means guess the current date and time of the computer running the CFML server and I have used the mask here like to show hour and minutes uh, for showing the server side code you have to put like uh, CF output like other languages uh, they in other languages uh, we use eco and uh, print print ln or printf so i have put also has uh, before and after that particular uh, variable to show that particular value whatever we are getting from there so so what is happening here uh, uh, if I request for that particular page, home page, okay, I have created a CFM uh, file, okay, then the request will s uh, start from application.cfm and then uh, will go to the home.cfm. Uh, so if I request for the particular page like a home, sorry, home.cfm, so it is going to the home page and saying all the things here okay home magic home india and you are, i'm damping the application scope here so it will show the